Hey guys, so ever since I made, I think it was my July favorites video where I talked about my acne and how my skin was really breaking out, a lot of you guys have been asking me how I cleared my acne, how I cleared everything up, and um, especially in time for my wedding because about a week or two weeks before my wedding, I went and I purchased a whole new skincare routine, totally different to anything I had ever purchased or ever used before. And it was really scary because I didn't know what to expect, but I had been given a lot of good recommendations about these products and about this line. So I really wanted to try it out and I was kind of desperate at that stage because I had like all these stress pimples all up on my forehead and it was kind of worse than the usual acne that I would get. Now when I was a teen I did struggle with acne and like hormonal acne, especially around my forehead area, my T-zone. I do have oily combination skin so I'm definitely acne prone and that was something that I kind of struggled with as a teen. However, after about age 20, 19 or 20, things started clearing up and I started getting just occasional breakouts like around my time of the month. I also spoke to you guys about the La Roche-Posay Effaclar range which I used for a time being and it kind of helped in the beginning but it didn't clear up the mass breakout that was on my face, like on my forehead, the bumpiness. So I kind of felt like I was wasting my time with those products, that nothing was really happening and nothing was really moving forward. So I took a plunge and I went to the Clinique counter and I had heard a lot of good things, especially from people who told me that the Effaclar range did not work for them. Um, they said that the Clinique range worked for them instead. So the products I got were the Three Step System by Clinique, and this is the one for combination oily skin. So it is number three. And that basically means that that is my skin type, type 3. So anytime I go to a Clinique counter, um, if I'm repurchasing anything, anything with a 3 on it is basically my skin type and is going to work for me. So I got a little pack because I didn't want to get full size versions of the products and then have it not work for me and then I would have spent like, I don't know, 60 euros on like all these products because they are quite expensive so you have to kind of know what you're buying and trust in the products that you're buying. But like I said, I had heard great things and the girl at the counter, she ensured me that my skin would be cleared up in two weeks and that was how long I had until my wedding. So in this three-step skincare system, you get step one, which for my skin type, the combination oily, is the liquid facial soap. And this is a gel, a gel cleanser. And all of these products, you use them twice a day, so day and night. I used this in the morning, first thing in the shower. I actually always have this in the shower with me. Um, just with water, it soaps up and it just cleanses your face. So I also used it in the nighttime to kind of get rid of makeup or just break down the makeup on my face. And it really worked very well. It does leave your skin feeling squeaky clean. So if you don't like that, then this will probably not be the right one for you. Next you get a toner, which mine is completely finished. But um, this is the toner, the clarifying lotion, again for uh, combination oily skin. And this one you just use with a cotton bud or like a cotton pad um, all over your face. And what I really liked about this is that it's so refreshing. So, you know, at the end of the day when you're taking off your makeup and you always have that little extra bit of makeup left on your face, even in the morning sometimes, I know that sounds gross, but sometimes you do miss spots, especially like around your eyebrows or in between here. So what I liked to do was just grab a cotton pad and just like put it all over my face, wipe it all over my face, and I'd almost always, especially at nighttime, be left with something. So you really felt like you were really deeply cleansing and clearing your face. The next step that you get is the moisturizer, and this is the dramatically different moisturizing gel, I think. Yeah, moisturizing gel. And if you have oiliness in your skin or are prone to oiliness, anything that says gel is usually good for you because it mattifies your face instead of putting like unnecessary moisture back into it that's too much and kind of saturates your face. Because you don't need added moisture, but you do need a moisturizer even if you have combination oily skin. So, um, this I really liked, it was very refreshing, it wasn't too greasy or anything like that 
and um, it still hydrates the parts of your skin that need to be hydrated. So what I usually did with this is put it more so focusing on the normal areas of my face, like my cheeks, and um, just kind of around this section, and then I just put the excess all over the rest of my face. Um, which is how you're supposed to apply a moisturizer anyway if you have that kind of skin type. The last thing that I got, and this was separate to the three-step program, was the Anti-Blemish Solutions Clear Blemish Gel, which looks like that. And it's just a clear gel. I have a lot of this left actually because um, this wasn't like a trial size or anything. This is a full size product. And this was recommended to me by the girl at the counter because she said that it's um, just basically like an acne gel. So it's, it's a spot treatment. So you just apply it to any acne or blemishes that you might have. And it's made with salicylic acid, which is good for clearing up acne and clearing up um, pimples and spots and stuff like that. So I had never actually tried anything, I don't think, with salicylic acid before, um, unless the Effaclar range is made with that, I'm not sure, but i would never tried anything like this before. I have tried the Panoxyl, which is with benzoyl peroxide. That works too for me, but it's super harsh and I can never find it at my pharmacies. For some reason it's like disappeared from the market, at least where I live. So this basically does the same thing, but um, they don't use benzoyl peroxide, instead they use salicylic acid. So I really liked this, I think it works extremely well. It's the kind of thing that prevents a spot or a pimple from forming. Um, if you can feel like underneath your skin, which this happens to me all the time, you can feel like a pimple is rising upwards or a pimple is kind of forming underneath your skin and it's almost like sore, like a bump. Um, just apply a little bit of this at night um, or in the morning time, whatever. You can apply this twice a day if you want to and I did. The spot will not form, the pimple will not kind of break through the skin and it will just disappear in a few days. That's what I really liked about this is that it's kind of preventative and um, it stops the pimple or the acne from forming before it's actually even there, if that makes sense. But you do have to use this sparingly. It does dry out your skin. It makes it feel very tight. Um, but because I was only applying it to my T-zone, my it was fine. And it didn't dry out my skin or anything. Like, it didn't make it flaky or anything like that. I definitely recommend this line. Um, just please keep in mind that I'm not a dermatologist and this is by no means what will definitely work for you, it's just something that worked for me and I can only really speak from personal experience because everybody's skin is different. So I really hope this will help you guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!